Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an unhandled exception has occurred in your application error in your Windows computer. So if you're coming across this annoying issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Just click on the Start button one time. Type in Windows Features. Best match to come back with turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Should be an option for Net Framework 3.5. You want to go ahead and select that option. And if there's anything for Net Framework 4.7, 4.8, or anything along those lines, you want to select that as well. Select OK. It will take a moment, so just go ahead and select Let Windows Update Download the Files for you. So Windows completed the requested changes, go ahead and select close. Now I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. If not, another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video, I want you guys to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it one time, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Once you have it exactly as it appears on my screen, so SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now, hit enter on your keyboard so it will begin the system scan. It will take some time to run here, so just be patient.
Okay, so there you go, guys. Windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So for online repairs, details are included in the CBS log file, so on and so forth. So once you're done with this, go ahead and just close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.